Hey everybody, Ryan with Ryan Outdoors. Just going to give you a quick synopsis of what I'm doing today. So we are hiking the uh, Kettle River. Um, we will come across some ruins, if you will, of some uh, of the old uh, sandstone quarry. Um, lots of beautiful things to view out here. Uh, the river is just amazing. It's kind of in a canyon. You can probably hear the water in the background. Um, also we'll check out some potholes, which I'll give you a little bit of history about that. And we're going to be reviewing an uh, uh, MRE from Minotaur Trading Company. And that's going to be my lunch. slide trail so this one goes right down to the river which is awesome or you can take the MCC trail which I think that is the trail we'll take on the way back that's quite a drop off <laughs> you don't want to lose your foot in there I uh, got my new Keen hiking boots yesterday, so this is going to be a great break-in period. Oof. There's the Kettle River. I wish you could camp out here, but unfortunately you can't. We'll kind of get a view over here. This is what I mean about how beautiful this place is. The water's really down this year. Yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. Some of the uh, sandstone where it's washed away and there's kind of like little caves and stuff like that. Really, really, really beautiful place. This is around a 17 mile hike, if I remember correctly. There's some more of the river. This is our first pothole, so what happens is uh, those potholes are made by a rock being turned by the river. So the water used to be up this high and it would spin and act kind of like a drill. Um, there's much larger ones we'll be coming up to. Right there's another uh, pothole that very well could be being formed by that rock. Absolutely beautiful here.
Look at that. Pretty terrible if this were to collapse. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the quarry loop trail. I've been to this place before, but it's been a couple of years. And look, graffiti, that's cool. Kind of like natural stairs. I decided to wear shorts. It's more of the river. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's supposed to be 76 degrees today. So I wore shorts. I have three t shirts on because it was a little bit chilly this morning, but I, uh, Gonna probably be taking at least one, maybe two off later. This is pretty smooth terrain right here, but uh, there's some spots that you, you better be in shape. <laughs> This is new. They, uh, looks like they built a little bridge. I don't remember this being here. But usually there's water coming down through here. But it's been a pretty, pretty dry year. So it looks like they built this nice little bridge for you. I don't know if there's like a heavy couple days of uh, rain. There's actually a pretty cool waterfall there, but eh, it's gone. Wah, wah, wah. It's nice and cool here in the woods. Fire starter. So this is the uh, part of the quarry where they crushed the stone. Um, there's one of the, uh, one of the buildings. So they would crush, uh, sandstone down here for, I don't know, roads and stuff, I suppose. Oh, mosquitoes. But, yeah. Uh, this is where the crusher was.
So this is another one of the buildings. So this building had uh, steam generators in it and uh, to help create the electricity, yeah, powerhouse is what they called it. That's kind of cool, look at all the... Oof. There we go, Jesus. So yeah. This is a big steam house, eh? Look at all the cool handprints and everything on there. That's so cool. Looks uh, like pretty irony water. <laughs> so, yeah, they had big generators in here that uh, I'm not going to go walking in there. I don't want red shoes. That, uh, would power everything for the mills. Really cool, old, old building. Back here must have been the, I think this must have been the chimney back in here. I'm assuming that's what that was. I could be wrong. Some kind of a stack though, I would assume. Some other old ruins down there, but no sign or anything saying what it was. It's so beautiful out here. So this is where they used to cut the big uh, chunks of sandstone. It used to be basically a, a giant saw here. And uh, yeah, another cool building it used to be here. <laughs> Imagine pounding those in. Look at that. That was not made by a uh, machine. Those were made by hand. But I'll show you the sign real quick. Sawing slabs. That's basically what used to sit there. Steam powered or electric, maybe. Yeah, I use compressed air. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh, scary. So, we're gonna continue down the trail. Uh, ran into some people, but uh continue down we're gonna head to Hell's Gates Rapids and then uh, we'll stop at Wolf Creek for lunch excited for that MRE little chunks of sandstone everywhere This is what's called the powder house. Used to be right there. You can actually see the old building. I'll walk up there in a second, but uh, yeah, this is where they held all the uh, all the gunpowder and all that. It's amazing these buildings are still standing. Yeah. 
after all these years. <laughs> Still standing after all these years. That is crazy. There's a ton of mosquitoes out here. Yeah, it might be a okay spot to get out of the rain. <laughs> That's quite a ways up there. Nonetheless, really cool. I'm sure you can hear it, but we are getting close to uh, Hell's Gate Rapids. Whew. Warm. Check this out. That's a pothole. I drove all the way through the edge of that. Isn't that cool? Absolutely amazing how just a little rock, well, it was probably a big rock, but how a rock can sit there and twirl like that and, yeah, drill a hole. <laughs> Here is Hell's Gates Rapids. Probably a lot uh, scarier when <laughs> the water's a little bit higher.
definitely be exhilarating going down on a kayak. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. That was a hell of a climb up here. Ah, oi. Being out of shape doesn't help. So, this right here, more than likely not guaranteed, but more than likely, this is a Native American trail marking. So, and it, it could have been from something else. But what they would do is they would bend the trees so you know which way the trail was. I don't know if there's any more around here or not. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. It's amazing this, all these caves and everything that these, uh, because I guarantee you underneath my feet it's hollow. You can hear it in the stones almost. It's amazing these trees can grow like this and not just topple over. That just tells you how strong the roots are. Whew. So that was Hell's Gate Rapids, which doesn't look that scary, but if the water were much higher, it uh, definitely scary to me, anyways. So, if I remember correctly, there's a waterfall coming up, which I think is where I'm going to stop and have some lunch, but uh, at least get some water. And oh, then there's the Wolf Creek Falls, which is where I want to hopefully do the MRE review if there's not a bunch of people. So, oh, little tiny breeze, which is nice. I stopped at the gas station on the way up and I got this really cheap, all natural bug spray. Ooh, flowers. Get the pretty flowers. That's cool. Anyways, um, and, and you know, it kind of smells funny. It says, smells great, but bugs hate it. Ah, uh, mosquitoes don't mind it. So I had to bust out my Thermocell 450, and, uh, yeah, mosquitoes don't like that smell. Look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, man, I'd love to own a piece of land like this. Unfortunately, you can't camp here, which sucks, <laughs> to put it nicely. But uh, yeah, I would, I would definitely love to come here and camp. Right on the edge of the hardwoods, just out of these pine trees. So we're gonna continue on our journey here to get to Wolf Creek, but I'm hoping like I said, I haven't been here in about two or three years, so I'm hoping I'm on the right trail where that waterfall is, because I am thirsty. I did bring a bottle of water, but I'm saving that kind of just-in-case scenario. So, yeah, hopefully I come across that waterfall, like I've said, now like three or four times now. Uh, there's some good fire starter with uh, some pine pitch that stuff burns like gasoline well maybe kerosene but anyways uh, yeah I haven't been here in quite some time so yeah I'm really hoping that uh, let's go walking this is the right uh right trail because there's multiple trails so hopefully this is the one where the waterfall is because I want to test my Sawyer mini filter or Sawyer mini water filtration device I have not uh, had a field test with that yet because the first one I bought my dog decided to chew up which is disappointing so, yeah, but well, we'll catch you guys here in a minute. So, here's something that's cool. See how there's barely any moss on the side? And there's a 
bunch of moss on this side. So, let's see if I can get this on my wrist here. <laughs> my wrist isn't that uh, flexible. Anyways, so this, where the most moss is, that is the north side. So, for whatever reason, in the northern hemisphere, um, I don't know, maybe even other places in the world, I don't know. So, moss tends to grow more on the north side. So, if you're lost in the woods and you know there's a highway or a road or a town south, you would head the opposite direction. If you knew there was one north, you would head north, same with east and west. So it's kind of nature's uh, nature's own natural compass. Just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. Here's another tree bent, pointing towards the other tree that was bent. So yeah, more than likely that is some kind of a uh, trail marker, probably by Native Americans, but I can't guarantee you that. Okay, there is a bunch of people here, holy smokes. But Wolf Creek Trail, it's a quarter mile to the falls. Not sure what's going on here, but I found a albino fern. There's a regular fern. There's an albino fern. Way too many people here. <laughs> Whew. There was a lot of people there, so unfortunately, I couldn't film where I wanted to. Some of the birds, um, <clears throat> because you have to have people's consent in order to film them, and I wasn't gonna try to get uh, eh, 30 to 40 people's consent for them to be in the film. Plus, there was so much talking that. Uh, he probably, probably would have drowned out what I was trying to say. So, I'm trying to find this waterfall. Um, pretty sure I'm at the right park. Not to sound like I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, if I remember correctly, it's on this trail. I'm not positive. But I'm hoping to find that so I can get some water. I'm getting quite parched. That is so beautiful here. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the story as it goes right now. Like I said, I do have water with me, but I want to try out that new uh, Sawyer Mini water filter system. Probably from a fire years ago, but look at that. How crazy is that? All that burn away. This tree's still alive. That's awesome. Crazy.
this is known as Dead Man's Trail. I don't know why. Maybe they found a dead guy here. <laughs> so I'm still on my little adventure here. Just walking through the ferns. Absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so anyways, um, this goes, this hooks back into Quarry Loop. And then, oh, there's a chipmunk in the middle of the road. It uh, goes from Quarry Loop to Spur Trail, which is the old uh, train track. Oh, scared about a little friend away. Anyways, um, yeah, I hear you, I see you. That leads uh, back to the, uh, the Spur Trail which is the old railroad grade that they use to uh, haul in the big chunks of, of sandstone for the saw and the crusher and everything and the haul stuff back out. So we're going to continue on. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Caution. Trail gets uh, this part gets washed out quite a bit. I remember this. Evidently, they were doing something here back in the day. There must be the end of Dead Man's Trail right here. This should lead. This should be to the right. Should be to Quarry Loop, and to the left should be to the. Uh, Railroad grade or spur trail, rather. Oh, bird. So, if I go to the left, that's Quarry Loop. If I go back where I came from, that's the waterfall. And this way is the spur trail. So, that's the trail I want to take. So this is the old railroad grade, um, like I said, that would bring the stones down to the quarry. It's pretty cool. That's still here. You could tell where they had widened it and graded it and everything. Holy cow, what a hike. <sighs> Take my hat off for a minute. It's drenched. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, battery died. I didn't get it, unfortunately, but I got water. Um, I can't find that waterfall. I think I'm thinking of a different part. Like I said, I haven't been to these places in probably three years or so. And when I did, it was, you know, just a short hike. So, um, I'm going to do lunch. I am starving. I am dehydrated. Okay, so this is the uh, Sawyer Squeeze water deal. I got two, three, three of these bigger bags, these 32 ounces. A little bit thinner than the uh, bag that comes with it. So, do that. And you got to Got to purge the system a little bit here. So you squeeze it just a little bit so the clear water comes out. A little bit of irony taste to it. I, I expected, I guess, the filter to take that out, but it didn't. So yeah, definitely has a, a ground well flavor, if you want to call it that. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. 
actually, I think I want those. Get back on. Huh? Alright, we're just going to set that there. I also have some regular bottled water. Much better tasting. Menu 12 of the Minotaur Trading Company. This is chili and corn chips. Have not had this. Dub C sent it to me. Holy smokes. Okay, so shelf stable corn chips. So that's cool. What else we got? This must be the chili, right? Yep. Spicy vegetable chili, which I have had in the uh, Hercules. Got a heater ration. Got a basic pack, which has emery crackers, strawberry jam, peanut butter, sweetened condensed milk, cream cheese icing, uh, coffee, sugar, creamer, true lime, true orange, drink mix, moist towelette, hard candy, a spoon, which is good because I managed to forget the uh, tactical sport, salt and pepper. Okay, um, what else we got in here? We have a ooh, peanut butter dessert bar. That sounds good. And, in my opinion, the only kind of cheese spread, jalapeno cheese spread. So, interested about this peanut butter dessert bar. I'm going to set that to the side. Um, I'm going to get some coffee going. I brought, here we zoom me down here a bit. Brought my little messed up <laughs> metal stove thing there. There we go. We're going to use the filtered water for the coffee. See how much of a weird flavor it gives it. There we go. It's way more than I need. There, that's about four ounces. And get this little tab going. Let that burn a second. So that's doing that. I'm gonna get this going. I'm gonna put all my trash in here because I don't want to be losing or leaving nothing out here. I'm not a, ain't about that. There. I would like to get a better one of those. Okay, this should be pretty easy, right? <laughs> okay, way overfilled that like normal. There we go. Now oh, it's good. Put the old chili in there. And there's that. Let's set this. Oops, this is how I want it, right? Yeah. There we want it right. There. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's what I love about the Minotaur MREs, as they come with this deep rich, deep, rich coffee. Airplane on cue. Okay, so we're gonna slow up smell. Sugar. It's got a really good coffee. And the other thing I love about the Minotaur Trading Company MREs, right there, sweetened condensed milk. so many people here it's amazing glad to see all these people getting outside and going on adventures Look at that. Ooh, that is good coffee Ooh, it's hot I'm gonna sit down over there So, yeah, those don't blow out in the wind. <laughs> that is really good coffee. So, I'm not going to eat the cream cheese filling on anything, or icing, I rather. But I'm going to tear into some of these uh, Emery crackers and peanut butter and jelly. There, almost broke perfectly. <laughs> So here's the strawberry jam, here's the peanut butter, I'm going to knead that a little bit, it does feel a little bit stiff. Okay, that coffee is delicious. So anyways, kneading this. the uh, strawberry jam up a little bit too. I love strawberry jam. I'm glad it's not something gross like grape. There we go. Nice rich color. Get out of here. Excuse me, mosquito. Oh, these bugs are horrendous. There. It's almost like a cookie. I'm gonna borrow this from uh, my good buddy Dub C. Time for the megabyte. Really good. It fits perfectly in your mouth. It's awesome. Megabyte's wool. Okay, so this should be plenty hot enough. This heater's still cranking out heat, but it feels plenty warm. Sit this over here, let it cool down the rest of the way. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. So, the only thing I don't care about these is you gotta rip them like that. I didn't bring a plate or a bowl with me, so I'm gonna take my knife 
I'm gonna cut it across. So that way it's more like a bowl. Mm, it smells so good. That's the chili. Look at there. So check this out. These corn chips. These were produced uh, 326 2019. So quite a while ago. save this one. I'm going to show you guys a cool trick. Those are like I just opened a fresh bag. Jalapeno cheese is the best. Wow, that's really good. So here's a cool trick I'm going to show you with a corn chip. This is, so this is just a Frito-Lay scoop corn chip. There's so much oil in these. You can use them as a fire starter. Better if I had uh, some pine sticks, but yeah, there you go. So that cool bracelet that Dub C gave me—it's got a fire steel uh, compass and an emergency whistle, plus a bunch of paracord, which is cool. So I guess it's time for dessert. So this is a peanut butter dessert bar. I haven't had this before. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Really good. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the hike and the MRE, but I'm going to head back to the Jeep and uh, head back home so I can get this uploaded for you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And again, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button.
Okay, well, I made it back to the Jeep. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're gonna head on out of here. So, yeah, like I said, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different than what I normally do. There wasn't any camping involved. Um, lots of beautiful scenery and uh, some hiking and a lot of people. Holy smokes, there are so many people here. So, um, yeah, this is Ryan with Ryan Outdoors. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and check out the website. Links in the description.